Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in this video we can have an introduction to Cypress. So, what is Cypress? Cypress is an open source tool to reliably test anything running in the web browser. It's a next generation testing tool for the modern web, and we're going to see what I mean by this. So let's go through the Cypress architecture. So on the screen at the moment, I'm showing you the kind of a legacy way of aut creating automated acceptance tests. So most testing tools like Selenium operate by running outside of a browser. So for example, if you run a Selenium test, you need a driver or a server, for example, a Chrome driver. That's what you're seeing in the middle box here. Scripts will then talk to these drivers via JSON wire protocols. The driver is like a middle layer between the browser and the script. The problem you have with this is it can become slow and the browser is separate to Selenium WebDriver and that means we need to update the WebDriver every time the browsers are updated and released. Now, how does Cypress change this? Cypress directly talks to the browser and it doesn't need that middleman known as the driver. The code executes in the same run loop as the application and behind Cypress is a node server process. So Cypress and the node process will constantly communicate, synchronize and perform tasks on behalf of each other. Cypress also operates at the network layer by reading and altering web traffic on the fly. This enables Cypress to not only modify everything coming in and out of the browser, but also change the code that may interfere with its ability to automate the browser. So you might be still saying, why Cypress? Well, it's popular and there's a reason why. Most job adverts nowadays will mention Cypress. It's because they have a strong community with huge weekly downloads on NPM and they're making rapid improvements. Cypress have a proper team behind them fully focused on making these huge improvements. We can see this with Cypress 10 recently being released and they've made a complete revamp of everything to make it a lot smoother and better to use. It also has powerful tooling. It has really simple UI. So the UI is there to create, execute and debug tests. There's time travel options where Cypress will take snapshots as your test runs. You can hover over them. You can look at the commands inside the Cypress command log and you can see exactly what's going on for each step. Don't worry, this is all going to be covered in future videos. You can also debug directly from familiar tools like Chrome DevTools. The errors and the stack traces are made to be readable. It's to allow quick debugging. The UI will visually show you the command execution, any assertions, network requests, spies, stubs, page loads and URL changes. Cypress has hundreds of custom error messages that will describe the exact reason why Cypress failed the given test. They also have a dashboard service which can record your CI test runs. This means you don't have to wonder, huh, why did this test fail in the pipeline? And Cypress API, as mentioned, will allow you to test anything that runs on the browser. That means end-to-end, -end, integrations, unit tests, so Cypress was originally designed to run, you know, just end-to-end -end tests on anything that runs in the browser. However, they are experimenting and, and expanding on this. You can even view screenshots that are taken automatically on failure, or even have videos of your entire test run when you run from the command line. Cypress will openly state as well that you should never have to add weights or sleep to your tests, making everything resilient and re reliable. Cypress will automatically wait for commands and assertions before moving on. Cypress state on their website that it's impossible for Cypress to miss elements when they fire events. Cypress will even know how fast an element is animating and it'll wait for it to stop animating as well. When pages begin to transition, Cypress will pause command execution until the page is fully loaded. You can even tell Cypress to wait on specific network requests to finish. It's basically flake resistant. The architecture doesn't use Selenium or WebDriver as mentioned earlier in the architecture slide. Cypress is executed in that same run loop as your application, meaning they are confident in what they can control. And Cypress will openly admit there are some trade-offs and that's due to its architecture. Straight away it's limited to TypeScript and JavaScript 
And then th they mention on the website, which I'll put a link to on the screen now and in the description, there's some permanent trade-offs and temporary trade-offs. Of course, it's not a general purpose automation tool. For example, it's not going to be a candidate for performance testing. They state there'll never be support for multiple browser tabs. However, they do offer workarounds, which we'll cover in future videos. You can't use Cypress to drive two browsers at the same time. But once again, they do offer workarounds, which we'll go into in later videos as well. Each test is bound to a single origin. However, since version 9.6.0, they have offered an experimental option that allows you to go to multiple origins. I'll cover that in another video as well. But bear in mind, you can do it, but it's an experimental feature at the moment. And as I said, there are temporary trade-offs as well, but these are being reviewed by the Cypress team and they say they're looking into these. And like I said, for more information, just see the link in the description or the pop-up on the screen now. There's gonna be videos detailing how to install, set up and create these Cypress tests. And as always, there's gonna be a lot to cover, but in each video, we're gonna cut it down and we're gonna make sure that you're eventually confident in knowing how you can improve your, your Cypress knowledge. As always, a like on the video and subscribing to my channel will be huge for me, so I would really appreciate that. And as I'm creating more videos, I'm going to welcome comments for topics you want to be covered, so please drop some comments below. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.